Hey guys, how are you today? We are here with another video from my creative year for week one of November 2018. Our topic for the month is words and our prompt for this week is status. And at first I'll be honest and admit that the topic stumped, uh, the prompt stumped me a little bit, but I do actually think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take one of my favorite journaling pens, a bit crystal pen, and we are going to do a little sketching. Now, if you were going to do this, you could um, find an image and you could paste it, uh, print it and paste it in or copy it and paste it in, um, cut it out from a magazine. I'm going to sketch a garbage can. Um, At least I'm going to try to sketch a garbage can. We'll see how it, we'll see how it turns out. So I'm just going to use light pen strokes. Loose and sketchy, not perfect. I probably should have my reading glasses on for this, but I don't. Uh, for reference images for your garbage can, just go to Google. Um, again, as we've been doing in months past, we're going to be building on our page over the month, so I'm not intending to fill the whole page. Um, for this week, the idea of words and status took me a bit to figure out what I want to do. Um, if you've been following me for a while on Yahoo! Uh, Yahoo, holy cow, on uh, YouTube um, and social media, then you know that um, as part of my journey with mixed media, I seem to use words a lot in my work. Um, it's something that I seem to do quite a bit. Um, and this, this is going to be no exception. Um, in my opinion, status, and we'll get into the reason why I'm putting a garbage can, your status in life or society should be more about what's inside than what's outside. The outside is trash. It's garbage. It should not hold as much meaning as it does with some and Again, it should be about what's inside and not about what's outside. And you notice I'm keeping this loose and sketchy. I'm not trying to do perfect lines. I'm not actually all about that. So adding a few like sketchy marks and shadows will give your sketch some interest. It's a basic cyl cylinder shape, so it's actually not that hard of a sketch to do. And what's the worst that can come happen if it doesn't come out right? I mean, I did make a mistake here. It doesn't matter. It's fine. I'm going to take some Distress Crayons, I think. and a baby wipe. I have a couple colors of gray and a blue. I'm going to use a darker gray here in the... If you've ever seen or have a metal garbage can, you know it's um, like corrugated, like it's got 
you know, depressions all around it. So where those shadows would be from those, use your darker, cooler colors. And I'm going to sort of blend them up a bit with a baby wipe. Okay, and then we have a lighter gray. And I've got a bit of a blue. Blue is a cool color, so it's going to do well added to the shadows. Uh, that's kind of a cute garbage can, if I do say so myself. Now the Distress Crayons are water soluble, so you not only can move them around a little bit, um, but if you feel like you've gotten too much on there, you can wipe it back. They do eventually dry down, and then they're much less water soluble. That is cute. I'm going to do something to disguise this line. I think we're going to just take some of our white paint. This is a bunch of different kinds of brands of white or, or buff that where the tube or bottle was almost empty. So I just started cutting them open and putting them in this jar. to get it open without getting it all over myself. That would be a miracle. And we'll just put it in a couple places so it looks like it's intentional. And then again we're going to blend it out with our baby wipe. It's not about making it perfect. I don't mind if the words show through. If you haven't seen me work in this journal before, this is a moleskin, oh, what is it called, a daily notebook. It's not intended for what I use it for, moleskin weekly notebook. Um, so the paper's pretty thin, so you have to be kind of careful with it. Okay, so that works for me. And then what I want to do is, I think I want to type something on a piece of paper and then make it look like it's sticking out of the garbage can. So let me get some typing done on my typewriter. Uh, yes, I actually do own a typewriter. I'll be right back. Okay, this is what I typed. Let's see if we can zoom in there. Status in life and society should be about what's inside and not what's outside. It should have nothing to do with how you look or how much money you have in the bank or really or anybody else's opinion of yourself. Your status in life and society should, should have to do with how you feel about yourself and what's inside yourself. At least that's how I feel. So we're going we're gonna to put this either on the garbage can or sticking out of the garbage can. I'm going to tear it first. I love the look of vintage um, typing uh, on just random paper um, in my art. I love that. And maybe I'll write actually throw everything else in the trash. Or everything else is garbage. So let's get that glued in. I kind of like it up there on top, so let's get it glued in. Just using a Yoohoo glue stick. We're going to use a big crystal pen again, but this time we're going to use the broad. They do make a bold 
tipped crystal, bit crystal, which is what this is. And let's see. Everything else is garbage. I love that. Um, you will notice right here um, that when you have these distressed crayons on here, unlike other crayons, once they dry down, you can very easily write over them. A lot of other crayons, art crayons, on the market, you cannot do that with, um, including gelatos, which are really hard to write over. So. Um, in my opinion, I mean, I really love these because you can write, you can add the color and then write over them. Even my very favorite Bible gel high gliders, um, you have trouble writing over. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm going to, let's see, do this. And we'll do that. So that's it for this week. I want you to think about using words in your art this week. Let me zoom out because you can't totally can't see what I did. There we go. I want you to think about using words this week um, and this month. Um, and what does status mean to you? What does that word prompt you to create in your journal this week? For me, I took it sort of literally, but um, you don't have to. It could be a lot of different things but think about what it is and create something interesting I'd love to see what you do create um, share it in my creative year if you're so inclined um, the link for the Facebook group and every place else I am on social media is in my link tree which is in the description below so click on it and you'll find my Etsy shop my website all my Facebook groups and everything else Instagram and everything so check it out that being said, um, we would love to see you over in the My Creative Year group. And the most important thing, of course, is to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Like, share, and subscribe if you will. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon if you want to know when my new videos come out. Hit that little bell. That's it for right now. I'll see you all later. Bye, guys.